Hi friends, in the second video of knapsack problem, in the previous video, we solved the problem using greedy algorithm. And now we try to use dynamic programming to solve this problem. Before I start, let me explain to you what we meant about dynamic programming. In the dynamic programming, we try to test all possible cases. And I keep just the case which give the maximum profit. Mathematically, these two expression. We try to maximize the summation from 1 to n. Vi multiplication by xi. xi take 0 or 1. 0 mean I take this object or 1 which mean I don't take this object 0 to 1 number of objects vi represents the value of objects and wi represents the weight of object i and we have this second expression the multiplication of the weight by the xi less than or equals w w represents the maximum weight all possible cases to power number of objects minus one for example if we have seven objects all possible cases is 127 for more understanding i give you this example and we try to solve it with dynamic programming so the technique which i use the binary of number zero is zero so i don't take any objects and we don't have weight and value for example number one the binary of number one as we see so the length of this list character is seven seven because we have seven objects this mean i take just the last objects objects number six it weights 13 and value one i keep this profit and i test other case two means i take the objects number five it weights four and value is more than the first so i kept the second value for example five here we try all possible cases from zero until 127 five i take the object number four and six it's weight two two less than 15 and the value is 19 so i kept this case we continue in this procedure until we reach into one 127 and i choose the maximum value and the weights less than or equals 15. so let's move into experimental part we find the source code below the video so this is the dynamic programming class we have three vector objects profits and weights maximum weights and number of objects and we have a table result to convert from decimal into binary and we have a string variable to store all possible cases this is the constructor here i initialize each vector and here i create the object in our case we have seven objects And this function converts any number into binary. So this is the solve method. 
First, we have max profit and max weights initialized by zero. And the number, I start from number one. Because uh, zero, we have no profits and no weights. This is all possible cases. Two power number. Objects minus one. So this is a table which receive the result of binary number. This two instruction represents this two expression. Here we have condition if the sum weights less than or equals max weights do this block show vector show vector it is a method which show us a vector so let's take a look show content of vector and we store all this text into some profit some weights to show all possible cases here if the max profits less than some profits max profits receive some profits and max weights receive some weights so here I test all possible cases and I take the best one Finally, this is the best case and the objects are show objects. Show objects is a function which return the objects as you see here. If table contains one, I return i because I told you zero, there is no object and one represents an object. So let's execute the program. So solve dynamic programming. Let's take a look. Here I initialize this to vector because weights and profits are the vector. Number object I recuperate the number from text field read table to fill the vector I create an object from dynamic programming class and I invoke solve method and I show all possible cases write the result into text area so let's execute Seven, max weight fifteen, weight two, three, five, seven, one, four, one. Here, thirteen, eighteen, six, seven, fifteen, five, and ten. So solve dynamic programming. So as we see, this is all possible cases. When I take the last object, this is the profit and this is its weights. So the program show all weights which less than or equals 15, as we see. And this is the best case, max profit. 62 its weight is 13 and the objects are 0 2 4 5 6